and welcome to another episode. We are the Vegan Voyagers and this week we're in our second week in Vero Beach, Florida. And staying at the Thousand Trails Encore property and it's really been actually kind of nice. You know there's a lot of amenities here uh, which we don't normally have because we tend to prefer to stay at state parks or county parks. They have amenities like playing bocce ball or uh, mini golf which hopefully we take advantage of this week. So we didn't show you our site last week and here it is. Hey, we're off to go grab some food with our friends Patty and Sadie, who you met last week in our last video. We're gonna go to that Paisley restaurant that we tried to go to last week, but it was closed because everybody had the flu. So I called earlier, somebody picked up, so it's definitely open, so we're looking forward to it. They've got a great looking menu. Buffalo cauliflower bites, mac and cheese, they got mm. like a chicken parm, so. Get in my belly. Yeah, I can't decide, we'll take one of everything. <laughs> That's our problem when we go to restaurants, we want everything on the menu. Yeah. Then we're gonna go have game night. We have Carbs Against Humanity. We got the new, some new cards that they sent us because we bought a piece of the border wall. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Carbs Against carbs. Humanity? I want, I want I carbs. Carbs. Against, <laughs> carbs Against Humanity. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you missed out on that promotion, Cards Against Humanity Saves America program, and it got you a little chunk of the border between Texas and Mexico where they've retained a lawyer and they're gonna fight the. Emperor Cheeto from building a wall there. So they sent us a whole bunch of cards with hilarious uh, anti-Trump messages on them and it'll be a good time. Yeah, it's nice. We miss having game night. We miss having friends that we regularly hang out with. So it's been nice to have them around. We'll be able to see them a couple more times before we leave Florida. So yeah, that's what we're doing. We're off on a wild goose chase. We're off to see your friends. Well, in a boss, in a boss. Open. We're gonna eat all the foods! Buffalo bites were incredible. We haven't eaten out in a month, so we were really into it. Everything was delicious. We're green. We are green. Why are we green? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that light is shining greenish. Yeah, weird. Either that or we're just, oh. oh. <laughs> and now we're red. Yeah, so the, we also had the buffalo chicken sandwich, which was awesome. And then, you know, the chicken alfredo, which was pretty good, but okay. the buffalo cauliflower bites were so good. So good. <laughs> cat. So, <laughs> so I start every sentence with so. Uh, so we stopped drinking and it's not been as bad as we originally anticipated. And we've been trying out some of the non-alcoholic beers and some non-alcoholic wines. And we found that we really enjoy Klaus Taylor. And if that's how it's pronounced, I'm gonna be butchering. Klosterer. Um, Taylor. And there's this uh, Hefeweizen Kronbacher, which I've never been a, fi a fan of Hefeweizens anyway. I really like it. it. It tastes like beer. Some of the other non-alcoholic beer is just like, 
not that great. That's the best one I've tried so far. Yeah, the Klaus Taylor kind of reminds me of a Heineken or a Stella, something along those lines. So a lot nicer than the Genesee PBRs we've been drinking. Yeah. But they're only $6 for a 12 pack, so it's nice. But it's nice because we've been like replacing what we were drinking that was alcoholic with non-alcoholic replacements. So um, it's, it hasn't been so bad. And now we uh, just cracked open a bottle of Free. It's their champagne style uh, beverage. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's all not too bad. I drink a hundred of them. Yeah, and not get drunk. Rumor has it that Vladi Putin's favorite dish is a snapping turtle biting the tip of your penis stuffed with spectacular abs. <laughs> I was on camera. <laughs> what do you got there? Golf club. What are we gonna do? We're gonna play mini golf. So I got a putter. We won horseshoes, babe. <laughs> we won horseshoes. How good was that? We were, we were awesome. <laughs> what are we doing now? We are getting ready to play bocce ball. Woo! back to Orlando which was supposed to be the only time we were in Orlando but because of the hurricane we had to go there for the Christmas so we're gonna be in the county park this time which we are looking forward to so we are out of here short drive no big deal you guys ready to go we got Brianne you ready we got Pig Pig got Boo Boo we got Mr. Man we got Jack, Jack and Jack, me, Papago, and Lulu. This is Heath Padgett, and welcome to the RV Entrepreneur Podcast. This is episode number 11. We've been listening to the RV Entrepreneur Podcast um, with Heath Padgett, which we've really enjoyed. They interview other people who live on the road, who are entrepreneurs, who do their businesses uh, while they travel full time. So it's been super interesting. We also loved listening to Sword and Scale, which is a uh, like a murder mystery, true crime type deal and uh, unfortunately we're all caught up with that because we plowed through it so we uh we're listening to this we're on the road it's super windy Aaron's a little nervous how you feeling yeah not confident enough to take both hands off the wheel that's for sure heading to Orlando I feel bad Jack
I take the dog for a walk. It's very nice. We're backed up right onto this lake, which is awesome. I don't remember making this reservation, so I'm pretty excited about it. Ah, we're here. We're here.